Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a very quick and easy recipe for homemade macaroni and cheese. So the first ingredient here is Velveeta cheese. You want to get about two and a half cups worth of Velveeta cheese and cube it up. The smaller you get these uh, cubes, the better or faster it'll melt. You want to set these babies aside. You're also going to need four tablespoons of butter, about four ounces of sour cream, about two to two and a half cups of half and half, a pinch of salt, a pinch of pepper. You want to turn your slow cooker on and set it on high. The first ingredient to go into the cooker is your half and half, so two to two and a half cups worth of half and half. The more creamier you would like it, the closer to two and a half. The less creamier you want it, the closer to two that you want to get to. We're going to add about four ounces of sour cream. I'm going to add your butter. Then we're going to add this was a bag of about 12 ounces of macaroni, the large macaroni, and I'm gonna layer this so that the cheese and everything can kind of mix in at the same time. This macaroni was cooked al dente, which basically means about seven minutes, seven to eight minutes. Once the, once the water starts to boil, you throw in your macaroni and, and uh, cook it for about seven to eight minutes. Just keep on layering this to try to get a nice little mix. You don't really want to mix it, that's why I layered it. You don't really want to mix it right now. You'll just want to leave it the way it is. So we're going to add a pinch of salt, pinch of black pepper. And now again, this is all to taste. If you want a little bit more, you can, but pinch is fine. What I'm doing here is I'm also adding a pinch of onion powder. This is optional. We're going to cover this and we're going to give it 30 minutes before we we open it up and give it its first turn. After 30 minutes this is what it's starting to look like. The cheese is starting to melt. At this point is when you want to mix it up. Try to get some of that half and half that was at the bottom to mix in with your with your macaroni. You don't have to mix it a lot this first round. This is just to get it give it a little bit more breathing room. Cover it back up. Let it sit for another 30 to 40 minutes. So after about an hour to an hour 15 minutes this is when you start to, depending on how high your slow cooker goes, this might be enough for it to finish or you might want to leave it in a little bit longer. Once you have it to the consistency you like, at this point what you do is you just put it on keep warm until you're ready to, um, until you're ready to serve it. Like I said, this is a very quick and easy recipe for homemade macaroni and cheese. I hope you liked it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and um, I'll catch you guys on the flip side.